A long time ago, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. John didn't quite fit in with other people. He didn't wear the same kind of clothes or eat the same kind of food and was often found out in the wilderness apart from the rest of the village. God came close to John and gave him a message to preach. He was supposed to tell people to repent of their sins and invite them to be baptized. Because of this, he was sometimes known as John the baptizer. But John was more than a baptizer. He was sent by God to do a very special job. He was sent to prepare the way of the Lord, to point to Jesus and tell people that Jesus would be the one to free God's people and restore justice and righteousness. The words that John spoke and his practice of baptizing people raised the curiosity of the religious leaders. One day they came to him and, uh, and said, who are you? I am not the Messiah, John said, because he knew they thought he might be. Well, are you Elijah then? Nope. Are you the prophet, the one promised by Moses? Wrong again. Well, then who are you? John looked at them carefully and said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, saying, make a path for the Lord. They didn't quite understand that. So they said, well, why are you baptizing people if you aren't the Messiah or Elijah or the prophet? John replied, I baptize with water, but there is someone here among you that will baptize with the Holy Spirit. He is greater than I am. I'm not even worthy to untie his shoes. I came to preach the word that God gave me and to baptize the people of Israel so that the Christ might be revealed. Though some people didn't really understand John or his message, many people did believe John and were baptized. This was the work of preparation that God sent John to do. John was given this job before he was even born. His parents were Zechariah and Elizabeth. They were very old and had never been able to have children. Zechariah was a priest, and once before John was born, Zechariah was serving in the temple when he had a vision. An angel of the Lord visited him and told him that his wife would bear a son, whom they were to name John. When Zechariah didn't believe what he had heard, the angel told him that he would not be able to speak until John was born, as a sign that everything the angel told Zechariah would come true. True to the angel's word, Zechariah was unable to speak for many months. But on the day John was born, God came close to Zechariah, restoring, restoring his ability to speak and giving him words to say. Zechariah was overcome with joy and excitement, and he praised God for showing God's people mercy, for raising up a mighty leader who would help them be able to worship God without fear. And God also gave him some words to say about John. The child would be called the prophet of the Most High and would have a very special job. John would be the one who would help people get ready for God to come close to the world in Jesus. 